didn't surprise me at all, and it, it didn't surprise anyone else, uh, from my teammates to my family. Um, they all knew I'd come back strong just because of the work I put in in the offseason and recovery. So. And then what do you kind of want to get out of the last three games of the year for yourself? Um, I feel like I've gotten better every week. I truly believe that, and I want to continue to get better. And the last three weeks have given me, have boosted my confidence in training this year. What's the excitement level, you know, in that running back room with the success you have with all the guys and especially going to a place like Death Valley to play uh, the 10th one the Yeah, we're really excited and it kind of reminds me of, you know, going back early in the season, NC State. You know, we had this this kind of juice and excitement and energy going into that game. It's, you know, it was my first uh, away game. A lot of us in the running back room was our first away game at Notre Dame football players. So. Just, you know, going into a different environment and showing what we have and showing, you know, proving ourselves to the world, you know, is the most exciting thing. And uh, also going back to NC State when Audrey broke, you know, coming out of the, the rain delay, that 80 yarder, and that, just that excitement. And we expect to see excitement like that this uh, Saturday. So. What's something that the rest of the world doesn't know about Jadarian? Is it Jadarian or Jadarian? Jadarian. What's something that the world doesn't know about Jadarian Price, you know, and what you bring to the running back room? Devin Ford likes to call me even kill, and I've heard that once in my life, and I was from him, and I guess that just means you know, I'm calm, cool, and collected, but when, you know, when I need to be ferocious and, you know, tough and, and physical on the football field, that's when I show it, but, you know, just always being a respectful guy and, um, you know, really hyping up my teammates when they do good things, because, I feel like I'm really an altruist thinking, you know, when my teammates do good, it makes me feel better about myself and, uh, and when I do good, so. Just talk about just working with Audrey Estime, you know, you've been practicing with him. Is there anything you learned from just working with him? Yeah, he, in practice, after every play, he'll tell me something I could have did better, something I did very, very well, and I'll always take that coaching from anyone. It doesn't matter if, you know, he was younger than me. If he, if I, if I respect him and he knows he's talking about, I'm gonna listen. And uh, just you know, the success he's had in the past two years from a guy like that, obviously you're gonna respect it. But not only that, just you know how he carries himself on and off the field, you respect that as well. I mean, today we just had a presentation and we were we were uh, challenging each other who, who's who's gonna stay in the library longer, me or him. And he ended up staying longer than me. So just you know, looking up to someone like that has been. I'm really, I'm really blessed to be you know, his, his teammates.